Now, covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Welcome back. A beautiful day out there. Yes, for much of the area, it was a beautiful yeah. day. As far as warmth is concerned, it was a case of the have and the have nots. But most of us will have as we move through the next seven days. Here's a look at your temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the mid 70s, and that's just about the entire viewing area, including the lake shore. We'll cool down a bit on Thursday, mid to upper 60s, and then we'll start to warm up again. In fact, by early next week, high temperatures will get up into the 80s, and some of us did see 80s today. The warmest weather was south and west of Oshkosh and Fond du Lac, Montello and Brandon getting up to 82. We had 81 in Watoma, 79 in Ripon. The high temperature in Fond du Lac hit 77 degrees. And right now we are looking at the haves and the have-nots as far as warm temperatures are concerned. North and east of Appleton, we are looking at a mixture of 50s and 60s. And then from about Appleton south and west, we have some 70s and 80s. We've got a warm front that is basically stuck right through here. It's not moving. It hasn't been moving for about five hours now. But it could still push north a little bit as we head deeper into the evening hours. Right now in Appleton, after a lot of clouds, we're starting to see some sunshine. That's an indication that the warm front is moving a little bit Farther off to the north, 72 degrees. We could still see temperatures zip up into the mid 70s here as we move through the next hour or two. In Green Bay, it has been cloudy for the last four hours. The temperature has actually dropped off 69 with north winds at around three miles per hour. This is what the clouds look like if you look straight up. You can see just a little bit of dim sunshine out there. We had thick alto stratus clouds across the area this afternoon. This picture comes to us from Lance Van Dyke in Manitowoc. He is a member of the NBC 26 weather team. If you would like to join the NBC 26 weather team, just send a picture to I contribute at NBC26.com. Now as far as rain is concern. Really nothing going on. We've got a lot of clouds out there. There's a little bit of verga with those clouds, which means it's precipitation that's not reaching the ground. It's drying up. But down to the south, we do have a line of thunderstorms developing. We've got a south, uh, we've got a severe thunderstorm watch, I should say, here for southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and eastern Iowa. Even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. But all of that activity is going to stay to our south. It's developing ahead of a cold front here across uh, that part of the upper Midwest. We've got a warm front that is slowly moving north across northeast Wisconsin. Here comes a cold front and then a stronger cold front. That will move through tomorrow afternoon. So here's our main weather maker, an area of low pressure right through here. South of it, we've got 80s. North of it, 60s and 70s. Then we've got a secondary cold front off to the north and west. Between the initial cold front and the secondary cold front, it is still warm. And that's the air mass that's going to move in here tomorrow. And with a westerly wind across the entire area, most of us will see temperatures up into the 60s. The exception would be Door County, where we're going to get some cooling with that westerly wind coming in off the bay. Precision cast shows a good chance of showers and thunderstorms to our south. This this evening, there is a slight chance for a shower or a storm in our neck of the woods. Most of us will not see it. Tomorrow, we can expect a lot of sunshine. So tonight, mostly cloudy. Cannot rule out an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. Overnight lows will be in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, warm and breezy. Temperatures will get up into the 70s. On Thursday, sun and clouds cooler, 67. Still nice. 72 on Friday, 75 on Saturday. Upper 70s on Sunday, a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm late. A better chance for some on and off showers and thunderstorms on Memorial Day and Tuesday. Those will be hit and miss in between lots of sunshine and warm temperatures up into the lower 80s. 81 on Wednesday. We start to cool down a little bit as we head into next Thursday and Friday, but still above normal for this time of year. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 75. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Babes Incorporated. The verdict is still out on today's high temperature. We'll have an update at 10 o'clock tonight. All right, and just to brag on you a little bit, so far Cameron's raised $2,900 for Babes through the three degree guarantee. And that money allows the organization to provide respite services for young parents, including free child care, so they can get a much needed break or attend school or work. Babes also offers parent education and counseling programs. If they're looking for jobs where they can go to, if they have their own personal issues, we also bring in somebody that can talk to them. 
The child abuse prevention program started back in 1997 in Appleton, and it continues to grow each year. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6.